Hello, hello, second Sunday of December and moving on. I think today, I feel like I just wanna jump into the cards and it just might be a little shorter today, but that's okay. The Oracle of E. Pam Grout and Colette Byron Reed. So what is our message for everyone this up and coming week of December? Laser beam. And these just have, have words on them. But to me, laser beam is like it sounds. We're lasering in on something. We're putting focus on one thing and just bringing it in. But these are kind of jokester ones, so who knows what it's going to say. Bring your attention back to center, back to your intention. You've been wavering a bit, but all it takes to achieve your desires is a little bit of concentration. Focus on what you want, then focus again for extra laser-like precision and clarity. Relish the sweet feeling of zeroing in on that finish line. So there we are. Back to center. Animal communication, tarot card, sorry. Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Look at that sweet little kitty. I like to go all over the place and see, as you know, see what messages we get from different realms. So we're going to ask for this up and coming week for everyone. Oh, one fell out. So it's interesting, it's a kitty. Not all cards in here are kitties. And it says the Two of Autumn. And it says, I don't even know how to pronounce this cat name, Abyssinian, something like that. You may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. It's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. And look at him with the yarn, having a good time. So I know nothing about this, but looking at this, that's what I get. The cat's just in the moment having fun. Certainly doesn't look stressed. All right, two of autumn. It says, this cat teaches you that negative thinking will not get you the successful outcome you're seeking. Just as bees symbolize trying to multitask and control with many happy opportunities at once. This card indicates a great deal of stress, possibly from having more than one job. If this cat asks you to have more fun, try to find ways to infuse a little bit of joy into whatever task you are focused on. This cat wants you to lighten up. If possible, try to find some balance between professional and personal life. This is one of the oldest cat breeds and as such has learned that all work and no play makes Jane a dull girl. Oh my God, look at my hair sticking out, sorry. Um, very personable and curious. Simply, lo they love to play, explore, and happily experience new things. Therefore, they encourage you to learn from their very balanced work ethic and then enjoy life. Well, I, for one, am too focused on work. This one is Nature Spirit by Denise Lynn. Up and coming. Eagle medicine. We know as we look at the card, the eagle is flying very high. The eagle is above everything and has the overview. So to me, this looks like, you know, if you're too engulfed in some situation, rise above and look at what's really going on. Not just because I said that's what it means to me doesn't mean that's what it means to her. 
profound connection to the creator in heavenly realms. As the eagle soars high above the earth, earth, it has the ability to see things from a higher perspective. Courage and stamina are filling your life. You have the ferocity to right injustice and wrongs done to you or others. This is a time to face your fears and overcome it. Your native spirit wants you to know if Eagle Medicine card has chosen you, you are at the advent of the opportunity to truly see life from a higher vantage point. Eagles are considered one of the most sacred all birds in the tribes and cultures. Their single-minded effortness and fierceness, dynamic energy and ability to soar high are part of the reason for this. This card reminds you to take heart and face fear. You do indeed have the strength to overcome any adversity. You also have a direct line to the creator. Your prayers are heard and will be answered in accordance with your highest good. You have the capacity to channel extraordinary life force energy through your hands. The journey, go on an inner journey and imagine that you're an eagle. Feel the power of your wings, the clarity of the eyesight, and the power of your talons. As you do this, be aware of the energy of the majestic eagle filling you. And that's really interesting. I had a friend one time who was a shaman, and he told me when he did a past life connection that he was able to see himself as a condor. You know, those giant birds. Um, the condor was just gliding through the canyons. So it's not only people we've been, we've been animals too. And, you know, really taking what they call the medicine from it or the learnings or the teachings and really using it in the best way. So we have the cat and the eagle today. Interesting. Keepers of Light by Kyle Gray. These are the master teachers. Let's see who we need to help us. We've got Kitty. We've got Eagle Medicine. We're lasering in this week. And who is going to come to aid us? Mahavatar Bhadva. God, I'm butchering this. Baba G. <coughs> Soul Expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. So let's just call him Baba G. That's a little easier. Beautiful energy as I look at this card. The beautiful blue in the background and all the stars twinkling. This beautiful aura over his head. And just love this. It reminds me of Archangel Michael's blue and how beautiful that is. So let's see. I'm gonna read the about <coughs> him as well. It says, Mahavator means great incarnation or avatar and Babaji means sacred father. He is a deeply respected master yogi who was introduced to the world through the teachings of the Indian yogi, Yogananda. Babaji, as he's called for short, is said to be over 2,000 years old and able to travel between earth and other worlds. He is said to have an invisible temple in the Himalaya that can appear to those he wants to connect with. Many believe that he is like Christ himself, bringing deep love, acceptance, forgiveness, insight, and direction. So, extended message. You may feel that you've retreated from the world recently. Maybe you've not been as active socially or spiritually. But this time of inner rest has really paid off. You are becoming more and more consciously aware of how connected you are to God and all living beings. This sense of union is called yoga. Yoga goes beyond physical ability and into a sense of awareness that's created through spiritual practice, meditation, and devote, devotion to the divine. Um, 
Babaji, the yogic father, is here to inspire the fire of union within you so that you can understand how your thoughts and actions, excuse me, I need a Kleenex. Okay, allergies. Um, how your thoughts and actions are creating the waves of energy that form your life. Boy, I, I like thinking of it that way. The flow of you know waves of energy that's creating our life we know thoughts words and deeds are the only creative universe or creative things in the universe that's how we create so as i look at this week and review them laser beam figure out what it is i think last week we went through a lot of that what we were going to let go of and where we're going laser beam it in and then make time for play and then look at the eagle for connection with the divine. He flies very high. So let's look at that as well. And then soul expansion. Know that everything that's happening is really for our soul. I forgot one deck. Oops. Art Through the Eyes of the Soul Oracle by Cheryl Yambrek Rose. My deck from England. How did I forget you? All right. One more. What card wants to come to assist us all for the second Sunday and the week that follows in December? Ah, it's the cover. Find and hold your own power. This is Lady of the Lake. What an amazing being when we look back on who she was, if you've ever read um, The Mists of Avalon, she has a big part in that. And it's just amazing. <coughs> so you can research that on your own. Um, Lady of the Lake. Stop giving away your power to others. Have the self-confidence to stand firm. Others will be inspired by your strength and commitment. So I love reading this deck because I have a personal interest. Been to England several, several times and just love the energy there of nature. You have to be dead not to feel the energies of nature there. Sir Necton's Glen is an enchanted fairy glen located one mile from Tintagel in Cornwall. Can I just stop there and say... Some of you that have come with me to England, that place is so magical. It's alive with fairies. There's, you know, you're climbing, you're climbing, you're climbing, and then there's a waterfall and people hang ribbons and little bells and candy off the trees there for the fairies. And when my group was there the last time in 2019, September of that, um, I had a commitment ceremony to Gerard there and it was right after that that I took a fall and got my concussion but what I was tuned into was what had happened there before with me was clearing out so it's a magical place you would love it and Tintagel which is right down the street in Cornwell is one of my favorite places on earth it is where Merlin's Cave is and I know many of you that travel with me have felt that as well, like oh, just mystical, magical. And um, if you ever get the chance, come. Okay, it says, it is a goddess site and part of the ritual of sacred kinship. The waterfall in Kiev has a hole large enough for a person to pass through in the ritual of rebirth. The Lady of the Lake is placed here because she is another aspect of the goddess sovereignty bestower of sacred kinship. She is also the initiator into the mysteries, holding and giving the sword of truth to the initiate and sending him or her on his way for their quest healed and reborn. With her blessing, the ritual would finish on Tintagel Island with the left foot of the initiate being placed into a carved stone foot-shaped hole where the king would marry the land and crown himself. I remember that spot too. Big giant footprint. 
Oh, it's making me want to go back. And for you, those of you that have asked about my trips, we haven't done anything since that trip in September of 2019 because of obvious reasons, COVID, traveling, all of that. But I am planning a sacred trip to um, Scotland and Ireland and looking at all the sacred pieces there. We'll be going to Rosalind, uh, which is, if you've ever seen the Da Vinci Code, it's where it ends up in the church there where Mary Magdalene and all the Knights Templars and all of that. It's mystical and magical. I've never been to Ireland before, but looking forward to it. So anyways, keep, I'll keep you posted. Watch for the, I'm putting it together now. And um, I don't know for sure if it's going to be June of 2023 because we're working on that to see if there's enough hotels and all of that because it's kind of late in the year and people book years ahead. So we'll find out if it's then or a little bit later. But keep posted on my trips. We have a way of magical things happening on the trip. We're told you can't get in here. You know, it's not going to happen. Then all of a sudden spirit steps in and everything changes. And um, it's a really wonderful time because what it does is it uplifts your soul work. It puts you in alignment with things. It, and on an earth plane level, level, it gets you away from all your everyday stuff where you can just be in the moment with like-minded souls and have a good time. So stay tuned. There'll be more to come. Have a great week.